Today, the Caribbean island of Grand Bahama holds the clearest clues to the dramatic change in past sea levels. Microbiologist Steffi Schwab has been piecing the story together. Hidden deep in a mosquito-ridden mangrove swamp is an unlikely entrance to a mysterious ancient world. These caves have a story to tell concerning past sea level fluctuation and past interglacial and glacial periods. What makes these caves particularly exciting is that they are one of the last unexplored frontiers and they turned out to be one of the world's largest and longest known cave systems. We move from the entrance into a very large cathedral room where we can see the ceiling comes up to what we commonly call these cave systems, which is a blue hole. And you always find, when you go into these large cathedral rooms, a very large rock pile in the center. And usually the collapse happens when the water is no longer in the cave, supporting the ceiling. I'm now swimming through what is called a mixing zone, and this is where the fresh water mixes with the seawater and causes what we call a shimmer. This mixing zone is responsible for aggressively attacking the wall rock. It's like soft cheese. Normally, limestone could not be removed with your finger. You would need a rock hammer and a chisel. This is how we know that the caves have formed hundreds of thousands of years ago. But we also know by evidence that we have found that the caves have been dry in the past. 20 meters down further into the cave system are these bat droppings that have been fossilized. And we know the only way that this can happen is when the caves are dry because bats do not swim. And when bats roost in the ceiling, the droppings collect on the rock and they become very hard. deeper into the cave system, we find another bit of evidence, and that is this red Saharan dust, which gets blown into the stratosphere during frequent storms which occur in the Sahara Desert, and will actually find its way into these caves. Most likely it's happened during periods when the cave was dry. The final bit of evidence which supports the fact that the caves have been dry are these beautiful stalactite and stalagmite gardens that we find at 28 meters plus. Stalactites and stalagmites form during the ice ages and have formed over a period of hundreds and thousands of years. What happens is the water is frozen in the ice caps on the poles, sea level drops and the caves become dry and usually during ice ages, it rains a great deal more in the tropical regions of the world. This rainwater percolates through the bedrock or the ceiling rock and dissolves the rock that's there and it comes out in the drip water and crystallizes, just like an icicle. And basically these are rock icicles. 